Hello everyone. So in today's video, we are going to see how to install Apache Tomcat on our Windows based machine. So before downloading and installing the Apache Tomcat, first we need to verify whether or not we have installed Java JDK on our machine or not. So we need to open the start menu and just click on typing bar and just search for CMD command prompt. Okay, so command prompt has been opened. Now I just need to write one command Java C space hyphen version. Okay, so I have installed Java JDK on my machine and you can see that using this command I can verify which JDK I have installed. But if you guys haven't installed Java JDK on your machine, you can go to my channel and see those videos and follow step by step how to install and then configure the JDK on your Windows based machine. But if you guys are using the Mac OS machine, I have also made one video for Mac OS machine where we can also download and install JDK on your Mac OS machine and configure that. I will also providing you the video URL in this video description. Okay, so moving forward, now we need to open the web browser and search for Apache Tomcat to download. Okay, so in the search results, the top URL in the search results tomcat.apache.org, we need to go to this website that is the official website for Apache Tomcat. But how do I know like which Tomcat version I need to download and install? Okay, because JDK, suppose I have installed JDK 6 or JDK 7 as I have installed JDK 19, but you need to verify which Tomcat is compatible with your Java version. So Apache Tomcat has already provided you that URL where you can verify this. So in this table provided by Apache Tomcat, you can see the Apache Tomcat version that compatible with the supported Java version. So using this table, you can see and check which JDK you have installed and using this, you can download the Apache Tomcat. But as you guys know, Java and Tomcat both you know provide the backward compatibility so if you are using the jdk 7 you know you can download 8.0 or 8.5 and if you are using the jdk 8 you can you know download 9 10 or any 10.x version okay so i'm just going to download the tomcat 10 for my windows machine so i'm just going to download this for 64-bit windows zip i'm clicking on it so the prompt shows me that I have already downloaded it. So it's just a zip probably one or two MB. So I'm just not going to download or let's download it again. Okay, so I have downloaded it. Now I just need to go to this PC, go to my downloads folder and just copying this zip file again coming to my C drive. And now I have pasted it here. Now we need to unzip this. Okay, you can see Apache Tomcat folder has been created here in C drive. Now I'm just going to go into this pin folder and I'm just going to copy this URL. Okay, now we need to go to the system properties. So there are two ways through which we can go to system properties. Go to the start menu, search for system variables or edit system just click on it and the second way is using this pc you can go properties and then environment properties okay so environment variables we need to first add the environment variable catalina home for tomcat i'm going to paste the url that we have copied till bin or okay without bin let's say now in the path i'm just going to add this catalina home slash bin press ok and ok now we need to close this cmd and go to our tomcat folder inside bin click on cmd okay so I'm inside the bin 
through CMD and I can just write command startup to start the Tomcat but there are other ways to also go to this pin folder you just go to menu search for command prompt and just cd dot dot slash and inside the C drive you just need to come to the C drive or you just need to navigate to your Apache Tomcat folder wherever you have installed be it CD or any drive okay so I have installed in C drive so I'm just search for Apache Tomcat CD bin so here only I can also run the startup bat file and my Tomcat will start okay so Tomcat has been started and most of you must have known that the default for port for Tomcat is localhost that is the IP address and default port is 8080 okay so my Tomcat has been successfully installed and configured and you can see Tomcat home page has been opened here okay so that's it for today guys in the next video I'm just going to show you how to change certain configs for Tomcat and suppose you want to change the port for Tomcat or you want to see the number of applications deployed on your Tomcat okay so to manage your app and server status or host manager I'm also going to show you these many functionalities okay so in the next video I will be showing you all this okay so thank you for today Thank you guys. Have a good day.